Hello everyone, good morning. We are here in Beijing, China. Yay! This is our third day in China and today we decided to go visit our third wonder of the world. Yeah. And that is obviously... The Great Wall of China. Woohoo! So <laughs> we're very pumped. We woke up early this morning because the last two days we've woken up at around 10 because we were super tired after the flight and after having missed a full night's sleep. Mm -hmm. And now we have to go to the metro station, right? Yeah. Um, switch to two metros. Yeah. Um, and then get a bus, right? Yep, that's it. Okay, so you'll see how the metro looks like. And in this video, you'll see us walking on the Great Wall of China. early in the morning so it is really cold yep as you can see we look like I don't know we're going on an expedition on the Everest um, at the moment we're walking in the street where our hostel is situated and this is like an old quarter it's so pretty because the houses are all one-story houses um, they are called hutons today we will be visiting a part of the wall called Mutian Yu there yeah. are two main parts of the wall which are accessible by public transport and these are Bataling and Mutianyu. Mm -hmm. Bataling is the easiest accessible and is the one which is most touristy and hence is most busy and Mutianyu is less touristy and less busy. So yeah. we're going there. So we were doing some research and we read that in the Bataling section of the wall there are even hotels, restaurants. So that would make it like really touristy and very commercial so we opted to go for Mutianyu yeah Mutianyu part the entrance fee is just 40 Chinese yuan which is around in our currency 5 euro yeah. so it's not bad I mean to visit one of the great wonders it's yeah it's one of the cheapest I yeah, think yeah I think so yeah. yet right now we're in mid-March and prices to most tourist attractions are quite low compared to the rest of the year because at the moment it's low season. You have your card? Yeah. So we have our transport card ready. It's topped up with some credit. We did this yesterday. But first, we have to go through security. So, how long was it between the first and the second train? Just around one minute. Yeah. One minute. We missed the first one, waited for one minute, and here we are. Ding, ding, ding. Wow. So we thought it would be cheaper, but obviously when you include cable car costs and shuttle bus costs and everything, they come to around 22 euro per person. So it's same price as going into the Taj Mahal so the third wonder of the world will cost exactly the same amount as the Taj Mahal cost us yeah so until now the Colosseum was the cheapest yep. because we got the student tickets there so yes. that was a really good deal we're still not on the cable car bus picked us up about five minutes away from the ticket booth then uh, the bus drove about five to ten minutes yep. maybe and now it's like this hilly road to go to the bottom of the cable car station and then get a cable car and go up and it will take us up to the wall there's a cable car over there that goes up to there this yeah this one up. open their bag open okay open their bag Mm. Oh, it's this. Okay, thank you. Okay. 
Look, look. This snow? Oh, it's the entrance ticket. Okay. After a lot of steps and walking, we're here. Clearly, the cable car didn't take us to the summit, to the highest point, because up there, that's the highest point. And we're here at this level, so we have some walking to do, but that's okay. <coughs> the plan is to walk to another watchtower and see if we can make it even further from there because it's not an easy walk um, but yeah we're enjoying it definitely yeah the great wall of china is one of the wonders of the world for many reasons one of which is obviously its position it's in the middle of the mountains so yeah all the stones had to be quarried and carried up to here yeah and obviously the wall had to be built and it's not a flat wall it's, it's as you as you can see from the videos some of it goes down so we go back up And then as you can see it's like it goes up this bit goes down and then it's like a very hilly stretch to the top yeah it follows the path of the mountain so yeah. if the mountain was going up it kept going up you couldn't destroy the mountain back then so you had to just follow the mountain and create the wall along with the, with yeah. the mountain. so the Chinese built this wall back in the day um, because they wanted to make a clear division between Mongolia and China so with the wall they accomplished this um, along the years uh, the wall was destroyed and Badaling which is the part of the wall we mentioned before is known as the part of the wall which is in the best state because it was thoroughly restored we reached the next watchtower <laughs> I mean, we're super impressed. Yeah, it's yeah. the mountain views. I mean, it's the right kind of wonder for us. It's not yeah. just a monument, but at the same time, the location in which it finds itself is absolutely amazing. More food. Hello! Chinese. This one's Chinese. When you open the bag, it says, Hello! <laughs> Blah sense. <laughs> Oh, it looks nice. Mm. Tastes amazing. It's like a croissant, mm -hmm. like the bowly one. Mm -hmm. Better. Really good. We're on the way to the cable car now. We still have, I think, a 20 minute 
walk up the stairs and down yep. the hill to go to the cable car um, it was all worth it and I think it was a good idea to get the cable car yeah. because it's just tiring to walk so much and you can only do so much in yeah. a few hours so that was a good idea it's definitely worth it because the climb is very hard and you'll be tired once you get on the wall and yeah. you won't be able to walk up here yeah there is also an option to come up with the helicopter if you like that and, and if you have enough money to do that yeah. because it's around 223 euro per person yeah for just a 10 minute ride mm -hmm. you can also come up with a chairlift and then go down with the toboggan yeah which is an awesome idea yeah. but we didn't opt for that because we think it's a bit cold for that yeah so we are going down with the cable car again uh, if you have time, come to Beijing, visit the Great Wall, it's worth it, it's yeah. nice. Yeah. And also, thank you for, keep, for following our videos, keep watching them because they'll keep coming. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel and to our Instagram at the Travel to Rose and at the Travel to Sam. Thank you very much and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers! Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I pass, I pass. <laughs> no? Oh. Are you sure? Yeah, no, yeah, you, sure. You cannot pass. What? Yeah, of course, we were there. there. It's good. Rose. Oh, hi.